All right, before the video starts, if we can get 1,000 subscribers before the end of this week, guys, it's simple to do. All you do is hit subscribe, share to your friends. Um, on my other YouTube channel, they'll vouch for you. I've done all kind of giveaways. I'm giving away $200. I can send it to you. PayPal, whatever, to what you do. Once we hit 1,000 subscribers, I'll make a post, say comment your name, put your names in a hat, draw the name, you get 200 bucks. I've done it. Now well, let's get on to the video. All right, guys, so we are heading to a store here in Seneca, South Carolina called TD's Express. So this, I believe this week is the first week that any Happy Dad beer has even been in South Carolina. Um, it's not here yet, but evidently it is here yet. So we're gonna, we're gonna bust up in TD's. I would record in here, but I don't want to sketch these people out, but I'll get some clips. So we'll go home and we're going to see if it's worth all the hype. So, um, I was trying to ask the lady at the counter. I was like, when did you guys start carrying this? He's like, ah, oh, sometime last week. I'm like, okay. You know, it was like, uh, yeah, have you, have you tried it or anything? No, I don't even know what it is. So, I guess they never heard of the Nelk Boys or Steve Will Do It or any of those those cats. So, we'll go home and throw these things in the refrigerator for a bit. And then, um, I just got the variety pack. So, we'll try one of each. Might go get some darts. And, um, yeah, I'm stoked. All right, guys, so we have made it to the house. I'm gonna pull up a background here for us. If it'll load. So here it is. I had to add hard seltzers. Um, I just got them out of the refrigerator. Make sure our camera angle is good because it doesn't look like it's good. So, just reading a little bit about it. Yeah, yeah, we're good. So, I don't do the lung darts, so got me some mouth darts or some lipper. Go ahead and get this bad boy open because I do, might need it. So, let's check it out. I've waited for months to get my hand on some of this, and uh, it finally came. So, the first one out of the box, the pineapple, gluten-free. Uh, it's 1.33 in the afternoon. I haven't drank anything yet today, so here we go. Nice, crisp, open. Smells good. Oh, yeah, that girl take gets you in trouble. So this right here is the pineapple, and it's real smooth. It's not, it's not super sweet like Trulies and... Um, White Claws, they got that real sweet just, ugh, taste to them. This is actually smooth and it says 5% alcohol, one gram sugar, 100 carbs, gluten free with electrolyte. So, hell yeah. Let's go. I'm gonna knock this pineapple down. We're gonna try all four. I'll probably get I'll probably drunk after this, but on a scale one to ten. Now I'm a IPA guy, so seltzer wise, uh, I really like the um, the Sweetwater Oasis. So I'm gonna give this pineapple one. For drinkability, but you get you could you could destroy ten of these in a fucking hour. I could if I didn't have to work tomorrow, I'd, I'd just get hammered. Um, for drinkability, I'm gonna give this a seven point nine. For taste, I'm gonna give it a five because I mean you can taste the pineapple, but it's not like oh yeah pineapple, which some people might like that. Um, so shoot you yeah. you could definitely get fucked up on these pretty quick. 
Yeah, all right, we'll do the next couple after I finish that one. All right, boys, the first one went down fucking delicious. Damn, pineapple is, pineapple's good. So, wild cherry. Let's do wild cherry. I think about doing a shoddy here. Better not. Boom, first off. That cherry taste is like, actually tastes like cherries. It's not like a overpowering sweet, sugary and all that shit. It, it's actually good. It's a, It actually tastes good. That, it's not like it's trying to be cherry, but that actually does taste like fucking cherry. That's actually really good. So, so far between the pineapple and the cherry, I prefer the pine, or I prefer the cherry. Now if it was a hot ass day, I'd probably be killing these pineapples. But I'm excited to try this lemon lime and the watermelon next. <laughs> Which I'm probably just gonna go ahead and crack them open. I'll just have three open beers, but I haven't fucking finished. Watermelon. Lemon lime. Let's go. Mmm. Oh shit. Alright, so the pineapple's on. Right now, it's, it's out of the question. Okay. Pineapple's out of the question. If I was going to buy... Well, that lemon lime is freaking good. Let's try the, the uh, watermelon. I'm not really a watermelon guy. So my two definitely is gonna go. Hell yeah. Shit, that lemon lime is good. Now this isn't something that I would sit in like edit video and and drink, you know what I'm saying? This is something that I would like if I'm gonna go shoot my bow and be out in the sun and work in my shop and like stay busy. Like if I want to day drink, I'm day drinking with these bad boys. Now, let's say if I'm you know, if I'm wanting to get off work and get fucked up after like four beer, I wanna hammer this bitch, then I'm gonna to bed. You know, but this is a completely different animal. We'll do a review on these another day. But probably my new favorite outside beer, now that it's here, instead of drinking bush lights all the time, probably gonna stay with the Happy Dads. Just get some, uh, I'll probably be drinking the lemon limes. I can see it now. All right, so I'm gonna rate these things on drinkability that, to my palate. So, and I've been drinking since I was like 18. I'm 31, I drink all kind of different varieties of beers, not like alcoholic type drinking. I, I like, we travel to get fucking good beer. Me and the wife do well, she used to, she's pregnant now, so I do the fucking drinking. So, on all the Happy Dad flavors, we'll start with number one, I would say flavor wise, flavor. The best flavor in my, opinion is the wild cherry now let's say you're going on the boat and you're going to get fucking hammered this weekend right you're going to drink all day and you want something kind of light without with minimal i want to say minimal flavor but not too like aggressive i'll probably go with the pineapple right but this is not going to be my go-to like i'm not going to like go into the store and get some pineapples Unless I plan on being outside all day because it, it didn't have, it was the least, it tasted the least, like it like it had the least amount of sugar, if that makes sense. But I, I'm pretty sure that they're all, I could probably look up, I think, let's see if, if all the ingredients, all of the things are the same. So, um, I would say uh, 
the two that I would take on the lake, fucking partying to the beach, I would probably go with the lemon lime and the pineapple. Okay, now, um, for me, flavor-wise, I would probably go with like a cherry if I wanted something to just like sip on, drink, you know, like an intermediate thing. Watermelon, uh, I'm not a water. I'm not a big watermelon fan. Now, some of the chicks might like watermelon, so I would get some watermelon. So my my two that I would buy, if I'm going on, if I'm if I'm going out getting getting fucked up, you got some girls with you. I'd probably go lemon lime. Fuck you, could just go with lemon lime, honestly. But if you wanted to, to my my two favorites here, lemon lime and wild cherry. That's my favorite, and um, they fucking like. Th these are good. Wild cherry is. This I didn't open another one. <laughs> and and the way that 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 finish comes across, it's not overpowering, but you taste it as it's as it's going down. If that makes sense, so you can. That cherry flavor really, uh, it's there. You can tell. The watermelon, it 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 does something for me. Um, of course, I'm gonna drink them because I got them, but. Um, yeah, so. Alright guys, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll do some more review videos. And once we hit a thousand subscribers, I'll be giving away $200, which, um, if you follow me on my other channel, Merit Outdoor, we do giveaways all the time. And, um, yeah, we'll get back to watching some milk. Y'all have a good one. Make sure to like and subscribe. Don't be a bitch. Hit subscribe.